Hey y'all, how's it going? Today I'm gonna be explaining something that a lot of people have been asking on my channel recently, which is how to download models inside of Jupyter Lab. So let's say you have Jupyter Lab over here and you are running some sort of local AI, for example, Comfy UI in my case, or let's say you are running Automatic 1111 or some other local LLM on Jupyter Lab. If you need specific models for that, how are you gonna go ahead and download those models inside of Jupyter Lab? So today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So for example, in my case, the workflow I have loaded is for flux context and if you can see over here we need the diffusion model for this so as you can see I don't have this model downloaded inside the relevant directory inside Jupyter lab but I need this model in order for this workflow to run so I'm gonna show you exactly how you can download this model now so first off we're gonna browse for this model online so I have this model over here and to download the model, it's really simple. You're simply gonna get the link of this model. So on this download icon, I'm gonna copy the address of this link and we're gonna head back to Jupyter Lab and I'm gonna open up a new terminal over here. Now we're gonna navigate to the directory where we need to download this model. In this case, we're gonna go into Comfy UI folder. We're gonna go to models and we're gonna find the unit directory. Where is the unit directory? It's here. Now, if you have downloaded the model locally on your PC or it's present on your local machine, you can click this upload button and upload the model in this directory, but I'm not gonna recommend this. The upload speed on Jupyter Lab for some reason is really, really slow. So it's a big no, no, you cannot do this, they can I. What I recommend instead is the download speed on Jupyter Lab is really, really good. So every time you're making a new workflow and you need a model, even you, if you have that model available locally on your PC, I recommend downloading that model again from the internet. So we're going to navigate to this directory inside of our terminal. We can do that by using the change directory command in terminal. So now as you can see, I am in the unit directory. Now here I want you to write this command wget and paste the link that we copied over here. Now at the end of this link, this is the name of the file that will be downloaded to this directory over here. And as you can see at the end of the name, it has added an additional question mark download equals to. I want you to remove that because our file needs to be in dot safe tensor format. Once that is done, simply click on enter and as you you can see the download speed on Jupyter Lab is really really good. Uh, we're getting 170 MBs per second. It's gonna take a second to download. Let's wait for the refresh. Now if we click over here we can see we have the model over here. Now we're good to go with this workflow. So that was pretty convenient and easy. You can only do this if the file is publicly available on the internet. If you have to log in in order to download a specific file, the procedure is different and I'm gonna show you how. But in this case, the file was accessible without logging in or signing up to the website. So as you can see, I am not logged into this Hugging Face page, but I could still download the file. But in some other instances, you need to be logged into the website. For example, if we go back to Civit AI, over here, you can see we need to be logged in in order to download this model. So if I were logged out of Civit AI, I would not be able to download this model. In this case, the procedure to download the model inside Jupyter Lab is different and I'm going to show you how. In order to download a model from a website like this, we need something called the API key. Now all different websites will have some sort of API key to download models using this method. But I'm only going to show you how to do it on Civit AI and you can take this methodology and apply it on different websites on the internet. So we're going to go to settings. And in settings, I want you to scroll down to this section over here, which is called API keys. Now here you can click on this button, add API key. You can write a name for this API key and click on save button and it will show you an API key. Now I want you to copy this API key and save it somewhere on your computer. So as you can see, I had already made an API key previously. You can make as many as you want to. So if we go back to our model over here and let's try and download it first without using the API key. So I'm going to try and write wget and I'm going to paste the link and let's see what happens if we try to download this model. So as you can see, it's going to be stuck in this loop and it will not be able to download the model. 
so now in order to download this model we need this command over here and in this command as you can see we have two parameters we need to enter the first parameter we need is the model number and you're gonna find the model number here in the url bar so for example the model number for this model is 376130 and you need to copy it i want you to copy it and save it somewhere on your pc the second thing you need in this command is of course your api key that you just generated so i have copied this model number and let's try and download the model by using this command over here i'm gonna paste the command i'm gonna click on enter and as you can see the model has started downloading and uh, the name for the model is dot save tensors which is what the original model uh, designation is so this is how you can download the models inside jupyter lab by using terminal uh, some people also face this problem where they uh, cannot access the checkpoints folder inside jupyter lab you can simply explore and modify that folder by using terminal also let me know if you have any questions regarding this and i'll leave those commands down in the description box below thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one cheers